Welcome to part 23 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess. This is Ron Moore along with Tibbs. Yo, yo. And we are finally in the ECW, uh, ECW of time, the Temple of ECW. Yes, the Temple of Time finally gets its own dungeon and I love it. Yep. Well, is that the Freedom Bell? Nah. Or Liberty Bell, whatever it's called in Philadelphia. Yeah, this is the story of how it got the crack in it. Yeah. Well, ain't crack under pressure here in the Temple of Time? What statue? Oh, you can't see it over there. And you can't hear you. can't even see it. I know. Like, well, I'm looking at a door here. Is it even the, being the big door? Yeah, oh, there's the a statue picture over there. should have been a little wider there. Yeah. Well, that's what you noobs get. You should play on the Wii. It's better. <laughs> we didn't need no faggy console like a GameCube to play Twilight Princess. Little lunchbox, that's for girls. Yeah. It's for girls. Nikki, excuse me? Someone actually took a Wii U disc and cut the center out of it so it could fit inside of a GameCube. What? Yeah. He's on the list. <laughs> All right, I heard I heard that uh, Sony, I think it was Sony, was mad at Nintendo in 2001 because the size of the GameCube discs. Because Sony was going to do that, but I think Nintendo beat them to it. I'm, I don't know about that, but I know that the it was either the Vita or the PSP had those little UMD discs. Yeah. The, comp the compass. Oh, nope. small key. Like, yeah. He looks so unimpressed. Yeah. This is one of my favorite dungeons in this game. Oh, hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. And his son. <laughs> if you smell la, 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 what the Jeff is cooking... He barely has a nose. Yeah, what the Okoko is cooking? <laughs> he still hasn't found what he's looking for. Yeah, Okoko's uh, son, whatever's more creepier than than Okoko. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a her? Oh, I, thought it was, I thought Coco was a guy the whole time. I thought you were saying Coco. I thought Coco beware. Yeah, Coco Beware. Oh, jeez. Yeah, they put him in a Hall of Fame, but not Bam Bam Bigelow yet? Come on. And how does Coco Beware in the Hall of Fame before Ravishing Rick Rude? But whatever, I, I dig digress. Alright, we got Resident Evil spotters here. This is a beautiful temple. Oh. Yeah, this really yeah. takes me back to like late 2007, uh, early 2008, when I was actually getting to this part of the game here. I remember I, I got so excited once I realized that the Temple of Time was going to be a dungeon. Yeah. Oh, look out. There's another one of those Liberty Bells. Hmm, that I rings, wonder why. That rings hmm. a bell. Southwestern Bell? A fail. I don't think they're around anymore. These, these statues are the laziest thing. They they hop and then they go. Ugh. Yeah. Then they flip wow, out. Wow, what the? He's let his light shine and then he just disappeared. As another treasure chest materializes before my eyes. Oh. Got the map. Jeez, jeez, Link. Link, don't look so happy. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's the same thing over and over again. It's like, yeah, another map, yeah. yay. Take him to the fishing hole. Oh, yeah. Huh. 
Ah! This might be my favorite dungeon in the game, not sure. It has a mechanic, I don't want to spoil it for anyone who hasn't played this, but there's a certain mechanic in this dungeon that's really unique, and it's probably the reason why I love it so much. Yeah. No, set it down, you idiot. <laughs> Alright, wait, what? Oh, it's not quite on there. I guess if Link wants to be in the NBA, he's got to get good. Right? It didn't even occur to me that the guy commenting on my post last night was that guy. Yep, the good, good guy, Maximus Justinus, if I didn't butcher his name. I mean, it's not just about get good, get good, <laughs> get good, F you. It ain't got nothing to do with getting good. I think that's becoming more your thing than his now. <laughs> yeah. I have a tendency to do that. Someone makes up a saying or a catchphrase, like in, like at work or wherever, on YouTube, and I end up, I end up adopting it and like making it to more of a thing of mine than, than anybody else's. I start using it more than they do. <laughs> Who are you, TNA? Yeah, well, no, well, Jericho invented that. Oh, excuse me, Impact Wrestling, or yeah, whatever they're calling wrestling. themselves I'm, now. I'm, I'm glad they got rid of TNA. That name was stupid anyway. Thanks, Vince Russo. <laughs> you know, people say that Vince McMahon is out of touch or not a good bur burger, not a good booker, but geez, he's ten times better than Russo. <laughs> Vince may be out of touch, but at least. He doesn't book like a stupid idiot. Yeah. And and he's genuinely a smart man. I don't think Vince Russo is very smart. Yeah, some people think Vince is stupid. No, I, I never thought he's stupid. He's just, he's actually smart. I wouldn't say he's a genius either, but he's, he is a smart man. He's just stubborn, petty, and vindictive. But don't forget, if it wasn't for Vince Russo, we wouldn't have gotten Austin and The Rock. He said it himself, bro. That's right. Originally, bro, we were gonna have Zelda come out in a bikini, bro, but we decided not to do it at the last minute, bro. And the final battle was supposed to be Link versus Ganondorf in a Zelda on a pole match. Remember the Judy Bagwell on a pole match? <laughs> oh, that never happened. <laughs> and I wonder if that was really his mother in real life. I don't know. I mean, I looked on Wikipedia, and they did say he has a mother named Judy Bagwell, but was that woman actually her or just the actress playing as her? You know, getting back to Rick Rude, one of the rare times that a wrestler's wife actually really did get involved was uh, when Cheryl Roberts got involved with Jake and Rick. You must remember that. Uh, no. You don't? When did this happen? Back in the late 80s, when Rude was at his, uh, most, his, I don't say his peak in the WBF, basically, you know how he used to bring women out from the audience and give them a rude awakening, which is a kiss? Well, he yeah. was going to do that to this one woman who said no, and he's like, you know, who else, you, you know, tell everyone who you're here to see. And she goes, my husband, Jake the Snake Roberts. And it started this feud where he'd be hitting on her. He even had her face in the crotch of his tights. So Jake would come out and strip him off him and everything. When in reality, the reason why she was there was to keep an eye on him because of some of the stuff he was doing at the time. Okay, I think I vaguely remember that. I do remember well, Macho Man's wife, Elizabeth. That was his real life wife. She was involved in wrestling. But I vaguely remember the Jake and Rude storyline. What I like to have right now is for <laughs> all you fat, out of shape, ST2 High rules, sweat hogs. Yeah. <laughs> Keep the noise down while I take my robe off and show you what a real man is supposed to look like. Hit the music. Start playing the, the over, overworld theme. Try, hey, he tries to put the rude awakening on Nabaru, but she doesn't have none of it. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you here to see? I'm here to see Link. 
feud of the year. Rick Rude versus Link. <laughs> oh, there's the compass. The compass. You know, it'll be uh, Rick Rude trying to put the moves on uh, Zelda. And I'm here to see Link, the hero of time. Hero of time! I hero. bet he doesn't have abs like mine. Yeah. Oh, I saw that. I saw that clip the other night of when Rude's back got broken in that match with Sting. That every time I see that, it makes me wince. Oh yeah, I never knew that happened until years and years later, and I was always wondering why Rick Rude retired. And the storylines in the NWO, he said Sting retired him and broke his back or something, but I never saw the footage no. until like 2011 on YouTube. We should title this video "Let's Play Twilight Princess and Talk About Wrestling." Yeah, right. <laughs> We'd That's probably like, get uh, more views. <laughs> no, uh, The Legend of Zelda, Rude Awakening. <laughs> Link's Rude Awakening. Come what are you on, doing, do Dance? Oh! Ah. Oh. Come on, Link. Show him. You do it, move. Ronnie. Come on. Learn the skills. Use the skills that you learned. Ah. Got the skills. Pay the bills. It's not just about getting skills. Get skills. Get skills. So it's like JR. Or you'll get say, killed. Get killed. Yeah. So it's like JR trying to say school. Ron Simmons now with a po with a power slam. Ron Simmons from uh, Marietta High School. <laughs> ah, JR. Yeah. Nobody cares about football. You do that JR. better than me. <laughs> Nobody cares about football, JR. <laughs> Boomer Soda King. You know, for a second there, I was wondering, how the hell is he zooming in? I forgot the Hawkeye. Yeah. The Road Warrior Hawkeye. Jeez, everything I, everything I said, I turned it back to wrestling. I know. Someone's I wonder how many comment. times in your life have you said ECW? Yeah. Someone's gonna post a comment. You guys need to get, get in and stay on topic. Must have been Master Hand. Yeah. Or skip. Skip. Skip, yeah. See, see his dumbass post in Hyrule Warriors? He thought Symphony of the Night, or Symphony of the Night, Symphony of the Goddess was going to be a sequel to uh, Breath of the Wild. <laughs> it would be a good title for a game, for sure. Yeah, I mean, a competition with Symphony of the Night. Did I say Sympathy? Sympathy? Sympathy, sympathy. of the Night. Symph <laughs> symphony of Destruction. That sounds like a bad 80s rock ballad, Sympathy of the Night. Yeah. Remember Symphony of Destruction? Oh, yeah. Castlevania game right there. Dun, dun, yeah. dun, dun, dun. Take a mortal man. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, these, uh, what the heck? Little milk duds coming after me. What the? <laughs> what the heck? They look more like little pill bugs. Yeah, right? Brian Pillman bugs? Ah, oh, jeez, I can't, ah, oh, I can't stop. Oh, another one of these, uh, little statues that, uh, we can we put on top of the switches. Uh, the Nintendo <laughs> switches. This seems to be a theme in this place of statues. I wonder if that'll play into anything. Yeah. Wink, wink. Well, wink and link, yeah. Wiki links. Leaks. And I actually winked. I actually winked when I said that. <laughs> All these statues. This game has a statue to limitations. Yeah, statue limitations. If the game is more than six months old, you will be spoiled. Yeah. It and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think bomb arrows only uses up arrows. It doesn't use up bombs, right? I don't remember. Oh, I never thought. I thought it used up both. Or does it? Uh, it's been a while. Uh, I might be wrong. Been a while. Yeah. Come on, get it. Get good, Link. There we go. Come on. You can't kill that little bug. Yeah, you can. Hit with the arrow. Arrow bomb. This game is much better than Breath of the Wild because it don't have cartoonish graphics. No, I'm just kidding. Ah, oh, them's fighting words. What's a cell shading BS? But it's, it's being shady. Cell shading. They're being shady. Them graphics. No, not really. 
Hell in the cell shading graphics. See, there we, uh, here we go again. Another wrestling reference. There you go again. Someone shoot me. Maybe Link will shoot me with the bomb arrows. <laughs> In the comment section, that idiot Ron Blower needs to stay on topic. This dumbass talking well, about the fake wrestling BS. Because it's got it's got electric arrows, so there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ah, the scales of justice. I'm in this part. I'm like, what do I do here? Oh yeah. Oh, I hear a po. Oh, what am I doing? I can make my mind here what to do. Where is that pole? Is it up or down? Up, up, down, down. With Austin Creed? This is Contra? Yeah, our Austin Creed channel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Link. Ah, fail. Come on. I did a couple of puzzles like this in Breath of the Wild yesterday. With the, these weight type puzzles, scales. Yeah. Alright, let's go up chair. Another fun ride. Whee! And who says it doesn't have any other uses? Right. Ah, there's the pole. You gotta admit, the pose in this game are pretty badass, how they look. Ouch. Yeah, much better than opening a Tom. Yeah. Rip their freaking soul out. Yeah. I mean, this wolf has Shane Assume capabilities. Yeah. Imagine Ganondorf versus Shao Kahn in a Mortal Kombat fight. <laughs> you will die. Gandorf or Ponum. I think it was in part 19, the Arbiter's Grounds. Me and Jamie were in that one. And we talked about who went out of Gandorf and Dracula. I think Jamie said Dracula. <laughs> I'm not sure. All right. Well, if you think about it, uh, Motaro could be similar to Ganon. Although Motaro is bum. I like Motaro. He sucked. I mean, he was hard to beat in CPU at first, but to use him as a character, he's very limited. I remember in your Mortal Kombat 3 uh, low budget view, you were like, um, what did you say? Goro and Kentaro would kill Motaro. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Alright, so what more great puzzles await me here as I. Oh, ouch! As I fail and run to the freaking. Um, <laughs> Run to this well, thing like an idiot. The pendulum axe. Cons is considering you ran into a huge blade twice and you're still in one piece and walking around, that's pretty impressive. Well, at least pretty tough. Tough as shoe leather. Yeah. Tougher than a $2 tougher steak. <laughs> tougher than a government mule. Yeah. Tougher than tough enough. <laughs> well, watch out for the what are those things that they use to roll dough with to make cookies. A rolling pin. Yeah. It's like metal, like the old Metal Gear games, the rolling tube of death. Yeah. He's going for the rolling pin. One, two, three. What is this, Jeff Jarrett versus China? Yeah. Um. Uh, the Get Good guy. He was been watching Raw on '93 on the network. He's talking about uh. I think McMahon on commentary and uh, uh, the jobbers. I remember McMahon on commentary. He always go one, two. He got him. He got him. Oh no, no, he didn't. I know. No, wait. He he would always get so overexcited. What a maneuver! I know. What a maneuver! I didn't realize how bad of a play-by-play -play announcer he was until I got older. Because when I was a kid, I actually liked McMahon. Because I didn't know you know he's the owner. I thought it's just a commentator. And then, Him and Jesse were a good team together. Yeah. Shut up, McMahon. And then the king would always talk about his toupee. Yeah. Shut up, McMahon. I think it's your pee. You toupee. Your toupee is getting receding hairline up. Then 97 when JR joined and they became a three-way. 
so to speak. Yeah. Look at one to Monday. I hear. Wrong. I haven't seen it, but I hear that Josh Matthews in Impact is now doing the heel Michael Cole shit. Except it's even worse. I heard that too. I think what's going to happen is he's going to transition to probably a heel manager or work out work behind the scenes with with uh, Impact Wrestling or something like that. I mean, I, I don't know. Well, this this temple's about to take shape. Yeah. Coming here, up is one of the reasons I love this place. We're here in the Impact Zone Temple, which is why it's empty. <laughs> Ouch! Well, and people say now, Raw. To be fair, they they did draw like maybe eighty hundred people in a multi-thousand seat stadium. Well, and people say Raw is hot, hot garbage, but still not as bad as Impact Wrestling. Or. I mean, I don't know. I've heard recent weeks Impact Wrestling was, has been that bad, but it's just it's, the damage seems irreversible. It's like no one really notices. It's amazing they're still in business. Yeah. Well, what? I bet Billy Corgan's kicking himself now. I don't know. I think he was. And this folks is a dark nut. Ah, uh, ECW dark nut. Yeah. Mini boss. Mini These boss guys time. are cool. I remember this fight was on the back of the original Wii box, and I, I was like, man, this game's going to be awesome. Yeah. I love how he, like, swings the sword in his hand, like, come on, make a move! Yeah. So you didn't like Wind Waker, huh, Ronnie? I gave it a chance. I tried. I just could not get hooked. It wasn't just because of the graphics, just the, the gameplay didn't give me hooked either. I've probably played Wind Waker more than any other Zelda game, except for maybe Ocarina of Time or Link to the Past. Like, those are probably the three I played the most. Yeah. I think it's in a recent, I don't know if it's a... It might have been a Mike Matei doing a Link to the Past live stream. I think he talked about, some people didn't like Wind Waker because, I mean, uh... I forgot exactly what he said, but I think one of the things was not just the, the cell shading graphics, but like um, navigating through the water. There's some, uh, uh, I can't explain it. Like navigating through the water, it takes a long time. It's a lot of, it seems like uh, you're going out in the middle of nowhere and it's like boring. A lot, a lot of people, they feel like it's empty, but he, he actually said, and it's true, there is stuff to do and find on every single quadrant in the game. Yeah. And I love sailing on the water, and actually in the Wind Waker version, you get a, uh, a faster sail, so you can sail twice as fast, and the wind will always be moving at your back when you use it. But just like Breath of the Wild, a lot of people, the people who were hating on it are like, oh, it's so open, you know, there's not much there, it's so boring, it's just an empty world. It's like, no, it's not. There's stuff all over the place to find, it's unreal. Who wants to play a game where... You you would just walk a straight line, unless it's an NES game. Yeah. Ponage. <laughs> These guys actually become easier once their armor, you know, once they get faster, in my opinion. Yeah. Now, I think I asked you this, Ronnie, but are you planning on doing the Cave of Ordeals? Uh, this game? Yeah. Uh, I do plan on it, but not guaranteeing it. Now this item is cool. Yes, the ECW rod. Yeah, Link, you better look amazed. Now he's amazed. Well, yeah, it's something new. Tell me something new. Wait, that didn't make sense. Oh, yes, I have dominion over you. Get down here. That's right, folks. In this game, you can control giant statues. Nice. And if you look at the floor, it's the same design as the light medallion. Oh, I never noticed that. Because originally, the, the Temple of Light 
was uh, supposed to be in Ocarina of Time, but it ended up get cutting cut out. That's why Raru just gives it to you. Ah, uh, Raru. Ah, it's going to the Freedom Bell. Liberty Bell. Well, I got Link. Oh, you almost got crushed. <laughs> well, where'd you go? I know the first time I, I looked up into the bell, like, how does that happen? Right. There's, like, no hole there to suck him up. Magic. Magic. All right, now the real fun begins. I try to get Jeff in this video, but oh wait, he is in this video. I was gonna say we just saw him. They're carrying yeah, him yeah. with you. <laughs> That's very funny, Ronnie. You know what? I want to do Ronnie impression. Yeehaw! Even though I never say that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is pretty awesome right here. I mean, this is a new feature in Zelda games at the time. I don't know if it happened after that, but it's cool. Oh, I can't think of any other game where you control. No, that's not true. There are other games where you control inanimate objects. You actually can in Wind Waker, but not like this. Uh, even though I could do research, you're still the Mike Tanay of Zelda to me. I can just ask you any time. Well, hey, Tibbs, uh, did this happen in Minish Cap? Or is it true that this person is that person? <laughs> Maybe you Minish Cap. If, if you haven't played that, you should. It's really good. In the year 2020, ouch, idiot, don't go through the electricity. In the year 2020, Tibbs will do an LP of Breath of the Wild for the Wii U. Actually, I have the Switch version. I didn't even know there was another, I thought the Switch was the exclusive version, and then I see people put pictures of the Wii U version. I go, wait a minute, is this Photoshop or is this yeah. real? They wouldn't have done that because they promised a new Zelda game on the Wii U for years, so it would have been a disaster if they yeah. had. Like a lot of people would have hate, would have been pissed off. Yeah. Ah. Well, ever since you mentioned Minish Cap, I have the urge now to watch P Calls Minish Cap at Let's Play. I never played. There's a lot of Zelda games I have not played. I still to this day have not played Link's Awakening. Oh, it's good. The only ones that I haven't played, the two Oracle games, and the Four Sword stuff. I thought you played them all. Not every single one. I played Four Sword Adventures and Oracle. Se well, of course, I'm doing the LP of Oracle Seasons. It's just taking a long time. Get it done. But Oracle of Ages never played it, but my friend Dagger and other people have said it's freaking hard. Like I said, I've played the, uh, the, everyone except the ones I just mentioned. It's much easier to say what I haven't played, because I this is my favorite series. And of course, I know you've played Faces of Fear, uh, Fear, Faces of Evil, um, Wand of Gamelon, and Zelda, whatever it's called, CDI. You could not pay me to play those. I would have to I'd have to go to, go to a church and like get baptized afterwards. Ladies and gentlemen, Tibbs is lying. His next LP, his first LP on the channel will be Faces of Evil. Yeah. It'll be like Armic 21 with Bomberman Act 0. Yeah. <laughs> Except I'll shit on it. Yeah. Actually, uh, recently I've I've actually watched uh Peanut Butter Gamer and uh, Jeff played through one of them, and then the Game Grumps were at the same time were playing through the other one, and then they went back and played the other one. So I have literally watched three LPs in the last few months concerning those games, and that's enough for me. Uh, I've only seen like footage of it on YouTube, but as far as reviews and let's, I never watched a Let's Play of it. But I've seen you know Corn ABG, did him. <laughs> ABG, ABGN's reviews. Why does Zelda need 40, 40 freaking ropes? It's effing bull! You killed me! Good! Good! <laughs> Good! <laughs> that's, that's how smart There's I'm also really a guy at. named The End. He's not around on YouTube anymore, but yeah. he had oh, a yeah. really good multi part review of the CDI, including those games. I remember him, but the only one I watch, thing I watched of his was his Daily Towers review. That was taking a while. 
I loved Armic 21's Deadly Towers. Where he did two of them, and then one of them he dies at the end, and he can't, he doesn't realize how, and then the screen goes blank, and he's like, What the fuck just happened? Yeah. That happened to me in Sonic and Knuckles. When I stopped playing, I got, I, I did a, remember the very end? I did yeah. a spinning dash, and I got killed by, what the heck did I get killed by? <laughs> Was it something that was about to pop that at up? some point? No. Oh. That was just a half line. And my speed run, my speed runs. And my uh, live streams, I never promised to finish a game because it's just meant to live stream and I'll try to get through it until I had enough or whatever. But LPs are different. Remember what happened Mega Man 2? Yeah. LPs are different. I, you know, there's time to go back and edit and if I can't do it myself, cheat and I still can't do it, use someone else's footage. But, um,. Live streams, you know, I just get through what I can, as best I can. That was a half line run anyway. I was, you know, I never really had much experience in Sonic 3. But, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, uh, Armory 21 is, is a Deadly Towers review. About Armory 21's version of Deadly Towers. Remember he was going to do a review of it, but his computer crashed? Yeah. And I, I don't think I've never seen, I think he did do, what, a live stream of it to make up for it? I don't remember. I actually did not. I discovered his videos shortly after the whole controversy happened and his channel got taken down. Yeah. So I first noticed him. I forget how I found him, but then I subscribed to that Waste of Time channel, which is still up, but he never uploads anymore. Yeah. And what, what was the other channel he had? Nicotine Alien? Nicotine Alien. Oh, is that Lazy Statue again? Yeah. Was this song played somewhere else? I don't think so. I think each dungeon has their own unique theme. Okay. Uh, there's that, uh. Well, the temple. The Temple of Time theme is in this game. It plays in the actual temple before you come in here. Oh, yeah. Grab the freaking statue! <laughs> ah. Aim at the statue, you idiot. Are you really this dumb? <laughs> I mean, that song, The Angle, from the first SmackDown vs. Raw, uh, game. Why am I so dumb? Why am I so dumb? Yeah. I forgot what band sang it. The core, I think. Or core, the angle. That was my current angle. That was my interest music in that game. Yes, the big key. <laughs> I wonder where Link is keeping that big ball and chain. Right. No, don't roll to the wall, you dumbass. What the? He's going balls to the wall, that ball and chain. Yeah, shoot the uh, the Sims jewel. really thought of that. That is like that Sims sprite. Yeah. Sprite polygon. You ever get roasted at work? Like people like they talk trash about you. Man, shut your so and so looking ass or whatever. <laughs> Someone told me one time, Ronnie, you look like you look like the Sims. You got a jewel on your top of your head. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we play like one of the SmackDown vs. Raw games? They each of the wrestlers has something like that over their head. I think I mentioned the Sims. I think, yeah, yeah, I think he did. Well, it's one of those uh, reviews, yeah. Nice heart piece. Yes, folks, here at ST2K, we also plug our own stuff. Yeah. I tried to get Wig on his commentary, but he didn't answer. Have you heard from him? Yeah, uh, recently he did a uh, donation request uh, live stream of Shadowgate. That was my donation to him. And he did Shadowgate. 
on Twitch, and then I talked to him on Facebook and Messenger for a brief period about maybe doing another donation to him to where he can do a live stream. Uh, but yeah, I mean, other than that, I haven't really talked to him that much. You should donate like 10 bucks and tell him he has to do Dash Galaxy. What was it called? Dash Galaxy and the Alien Asylum. Never heard of that one. I've heard of Guardians of the Galaxy. Is that a game? Yeah, but not for the original NES. <laughs> oh. Boom! Oh. That's right. Just destroy everything. Gee, I'm wondering if this is the statue that Midna was talking about at the beginning of the temple. Nah, I think it's just a coincidence. Yeah. It's a conspiracy theory. Go again. Link, look out, you're getting crushed! You know, <laughs> he slid out of the way. Yeah. Remember the last time we recorded in a snowstorm? The video stopped playing for me? Yeah. Did it do it again? No, I think it. I think it was a. There was also a problem with my computer, which I fixed. Oh, okay. But it was a funny moment, nonetheless. Yeah. And uh, was it a uh, Shawshank Temple? Huh? Yeah, that's where we're at. The last part. I mean, not the last part. The part before that, where your video messed up. The Shawshank Temple. I mean, I love the movie, but I don't really get the joke. Yeah, remember I said uh, we are now we're here. We're playing the Shawshank Redemption for the GameCube, where you show like parts of the uh, Snow Peak ruins and kind of look like the walls of uh, Shawshank Prison. Oh, okay. And there was snow yeah. there because you know the the prison is in Maine, and yeah. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. And Jeff's like, yes, Shawshank. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I went fresh fish. Yeah, fresh fish, fresh fish, fresh fish. I want to go home. I want my mother. I had your mother. She wasn't that great. <laughs> you use the Lord's you name get in vain. Get busy I'm living or get busy dying. Yeah, that's that gun right. Imagine that game for the GameCube. <laughs> A, a thing, made, made by Nintendo. Huh? Made by Nintendo themselves. Yeah. I seen a not a fan made game, but someone made a video. If Shawshank Redemption was an 8 bit or 16 bit game, it's on YouTube somewhere. <laughs> like a Shawshank RPG. <laughs> yeah, but part, part of the side quest is running the library. Yeah. And uh, polishing and shaping those rocks. Okay. And at the end, instead of instead of the instead of the escape scene in Metroid, it's a cha like a well, he wasn't being chased, but like uh, tunneling out. Yeah. Another Poe. Uh, I lost count. We just already. got Poe. Yeah, I lost count already. Probably have what ten or fifteen to go. Yeah, we're getting because you've been keeping up on him. Yeah. There's not much left after this. Yeah. Making pretty good progress. I mean, what part is this? Part 23? 23, yeah. I, I think I will finish this LP before three years. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I wish I could finish faster, but life gets in the way. Let's try to finish other projects and stuff. I still got Oracle Seasons. That's taking longer to finish. I remember to go next. It's freaking Lizalfo. Stop chasing me for once. Didn't I kill you? Stop responding. This ain't the NES. <laughs> yeah. Ah, hello. There he is. Ah. Uh, was that the keys? Is that what they're called? Keys? Think, like I said, uh, like I said, Ocarina of Time, they can keep my ass. Oh, 
Come here, you. I can't wait for the boss fight. The boss fight in this game is one of my favorites. It's super easy, but it's pretty epic. Yeah. I like the color of the stone statues turn to when you have Dominion. I like how it walks. Yeah. Yeah. You know where you walk, it just kind of like bounces along. Going down the <laughs> stairs, please. <laughs> you know, in real life, it would tell her to tumble down the stairs. I feel like such a slave driver. I'm like, hell, hell, come on, let's go. <laughs> Making it go. Oh, well, you're taking it back home. Yeah. Like, I wonder, how did it get there in the first place? Ganondorf. Or, uh, Zant. Oh, Zant. Anyone who hasn't played this game, wait until you see him. Yeah. All right, time to go home, buddy. We have done it. Yep. I oh, say we you... like I'm actually playing. Oh, now you've done it. You've really done it. How could you turn uh, Jane to an awful? I forgot. Uh, Powers are ties. How could you? How could you turn Jane into such a perverted little thing? I have seen like, a lot of dog. Time. When he takes over back the story, I didn't even know dogs were fucking watching. I know, right? That was dumb. Dogs applauding. There's dogs applauding. A chicken mask. Yeah. A chicken mask. Remember the LP that uh, Jeff did? Uh, they showed that guy, yes. the, nar the narrator with the uh, with a hat on, and J-Man goes, looks like freaking Donald Trump with the Stormtrooper helmet on. <laughs> now, do you know... At the end, instead of, uh, like, it says, give me the Hollywood ending or show me something different. Have you ever seen what happens if you choose something different? Yeah, she leaves with Thresher. Well, if I remember right, no, if I remember, she becomes a nun. Oh, I think so. Oh, never mind. I'm thinking of, no, I'm not thinking of the ending. I'm thinking of the, the choice you make if you go with Thresher. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's right. She goes, I'm sorry, but I just, I, just, I just joined a convent or something. And then, like, yeah, she becomes, that's right. That name kills me, Thresher. Yeah, Thresher looks like a. Take your old, damn clothes off. Looks like a old, outer, more out of shape version of Chris Farley. <laughs> For anyone that hasn't seen that game, you've got to. Yeah, check out Jeff's LP, Shameless Plug. We've been searching for meat for it. Yeah, and then they left it in there. <laughs> Freddy and Slip. Slip. What, what's going on here? Why are people laughing? It's an outtake? It's not even an outtake, it's, it's an intake of an outtake. outtake. Was it that funny? Whoa. Almost got crushed. This place is dangerous. Imagine people with arachnophobia in this temple. One of my aunts has it bad. I love that movie though. Rock and roll. Well, if she was in here, she's gonna really have it bad here. Yeah, especially in this room. Oh, spoiler. Oh, we fight nothing. We win. Yeah, things. Seem oh, you fight these statues. Hmm. Whoa, what? Whoa! Oh, yeah. What the? It wouldn't be Zelda without Goma. Arma Goma. So, Goma, Goma, Goma Pile? So, Queen Goma's back. I love the music in this. Yeah. A creepy. So, this is a Goma fucker at top, but on steroids. Oh. Yeah, if you have arachnophobia, I can yeah. imagine having the Now this thing. is badass, what you yeah. do here. Yes, yeah. nice. It took me a bit to figure it out, but I knew it had, it, had to, it had to have something to do with the item you collect in the dungeon, so it hit me. All oh, the statues here, okay, I think they're supposed to, supposed to make them do something. Err, <laughs> I mean, that's how you figure out how to beat the bosses in each Zelda dungeon. Is depends on the item that you have. That has to have something to do oh. with it. Oh, he's taking a shit. Oh. 
Set him on fire. 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 Oh, ouch. That backfired on me. That's a bad parent. Yeah. He just killed his own baby. Yeah. Just like Mr. X in Street Your Eight, just killing uh, his own henchmen. You still planning on live streaming that, by the way? The first Future Rage, yeah. Nice. I've actually never beaten that. I've made it almost all the way. I've made it to the part, it's like an elevator going up. Yeah. I think. I've made it that far. I think one more hit should do it. It, now, it, it looks like there's dust on the ceiling when it walks, but can dust actually collect on a ceiling? I never thought of that. I don't know. I if anything, maybe cobwebs. Yeah, cobwebs. And it's a spider, so it fits. Yeah. Say do it. Naughty night. one of those would crush it. Come on. All right. John Goodman is defeated the spider. Yeah. Well, that's the end of part yeah. 23. We will see you guys in... Wait <gasps> a minute. Whoa! Whoa. What? Wait a minute here. This it's is dead. so cute. <laughs> this is funny right here. You, 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 think, you think it's done, and then all of a sudden... Wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm being an idiot. And that's it. <laughs> that must hit her. I was trying to do like carry, it, carry its mother to safety. Sorry, I need this shard of mirror. Cause that, it, Two it, down, it, one to go. It was shard, trying to shard all over me. Even though we only worked for two of them. Yeah. One hour to go. The evil within the shards. Yeah. Well, you should know. You're from the Twilight Realm. Yeah. Ask your king, Zant. Hashtag not my king. The sky. Yes, folks, the second half of this game is all about sharding. Yep. Alright, get in the heart container. Now I have, uh, I lost count hearts. Alright. So we will see you guys in part 24 where the sky's the limit. Until then, <laughs> God bless and take care. Bye bye.